29. Some gun fanciers make their own bullets, which involves melting and casting the lead slugs. How much heat transfer is needed to raise the temperature and melt 0.5 kilograms of lead starting from 25 degrees Celsius? All right. So I like to start these problems on like a little with a little continuum. All right. The first thing I do is I state the three parts of matter here. We have the solid, liquid phase, and the gas phase. Where are we starting in the problem? Well, we're starting with lead at 25 degrees Celsius. Now, that is way below the boiling point of lead. Okay, excuse me, the melting point of lead. It's also below the boiling point, incidentally. So we're starting basically right around here. The boiling, uh, excuse me, the melting point. That's why I'm, I wrote boiling point down here, but I meant to write melting point. That's why I, melting point, I keep looking at it. Um, so we have then that we are at 25 degrees Celsius, and we got to go all the way now to the boiling point, okay? I did it again. I did it again. Oh my God, what is wrong with me today? All right, so 327, I'm sorry guys, 327 is the melting point. So we basically have two things, two calculations. We got to find the heat transfer necessary to go from 25 to 327, and then we have to find the energy necessary to actually melt it, all right? So there's two calculations here, and then to find the total, we simply just add them up, all right? So part one here will be Q equals MC delta T. So the heat necessary to change the temperature of the solid lead will be equal to the mass of the lead, which they told us was 0.5 kilograms. Specific heat, that's looked up. It's 128 joules per gram Celsius. So the temperature change will be the final point of the melting point, 327 minus then 25. And what do we get? All right, running right through this problem because it should be pretty easy. 0.5 times 128 times then parenthesis 327 minus 25. And here we get about 19,328. So 19,328 joules. Great. And now let's talk about the phase change, the energy necessary to cause it to melt. All right, that's taking a look then at the first formula up at the top. This is the phase change formula, ML. And the heat necessary is, uh, is equal then to the mass of the object that we are melting. So the mass, again, is the same. That's going to be 0.5 kilograms. And the latent heat now of fusion, since we're talking about melting, okay? It's going to be 24.5 kilojoules per kilogram. But you've got to be careful, right? You need the units to be consistent. So I would suggest you multiply this by 1,000. So it's really going to be 24,500, right? And then calculate that. So it's basically... So 24,500 multiplied by 0.5, 20, yeah, so 12,250, 250 joules. And then to find out the total amount of energy necessary, just simply take these two and you're going to then add them together. All right. And then what do we get? So we're going to add to that, that value and we, voila, we come out with an answer of about uh, 3.16 times 10 raised to the 3 fourth, and that is joules. All right, fairly simple, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe if you can, and hit the like button. Thank you.